Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting for women specifically, why you need to have snacks, um, how that's important for the female body, and how to actually be successful when you're intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is, so that's the IF, <laughs> intermittent fasting, in case you're wondering. Um, it's one of those things that is a buzzword. It is super popular now. A lot of people are doing fasting, and there's a lot of different types of fasting. I've seen so much stuff out there. Oh, intermittent fasting for your body type, for, you know, all these other things. And honestly, sure. You know, not everybody is the same though, right? So if you're, if you've tried intermittent fasting of some kind and you're like, Ooh, I don't know if I'm doing this right or it doesn't feel successful for me. Am I just doing it wrong or are you doing the wrong kind? So that's why I want to dive into intermittent fasting for snacks. So this is going to be an an intermittent fast. It's a one day, 24 hour fast that you're doing. Now I say fast, right? Hi, Sheila. So a fast. Let me write this down. Let me write this down. So this is specifically for a 24 hour fast. And specifically for women. I really, really focus on women's health. I mean, obviously my, <laughs> my book is called The Female Fast Solution. Sometimes I get messages from guys and they're like, um, do you have a book for men? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I mean, I can give you like nutrition advice. There's a lot of it, but there's just like extra special stuff for women in here. Um, nutrition for estrogen, nutrition for progesterone, nutrition that really works with how your physiology works. Cause you have a different body each week of the month, right? Here's how to eat for your cycle. Really cool, huh? Um, oh, I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, and I've got a lot of really great episodes coming up, a lot of really great interviews. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to that. And then all of my old videos, you just finished the book last night, Melody. Yay! That's awesome. How did you like it? Um, so if you're missing a video, if you're wondering if I've done a video on something, you can always check my YouTube channel. And then I do have a 12 week program where I work with women one on one. I really focus on helping guide women through this whole process of things like this. This is one of the things that I teach women how to do in my 12 week program. And a lot of times I will tweak and adjust it for your body specifically because this <laughs> Melody, you're ready for the next book. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I am. Mm -hmm. Um, so if this is, if you're like, well, this is successful, or I'm doing okay with this, but I wonder if I can amplify it. You can, <laughs> you totally can. And that's what I work with women one-on-one -on -one doing is taking the results you're getting and boom, amplifying it. So I'll put a link below um, where you can schedule a call with me. If you're wondering how this works, if you're struggling with something, if you feel stuck and frustrated, oh my gosh, I want to get to the next level and all these things I'm doing aren't working. Hi, Pamela. So you can schedule a call with me and we can chat about some issues that you have. Um, because, and this is so important, because, and that I, that I love chatting with women because little things like this make a huge difference. And, and sometimes you're following an instruction, you're following a direction, or to be honest, I'll do this all the time. I'll go on um, Google or I'll go on Pinterest and I'll look at something and I'll be like, oh, this seems great, right? It's mostly with cooking, right? It's mostly with, like cooking things. <laughs> like, I don't know if you saw last week, I tried to make sorghum. I bought sorghum at the store and I was like, this is fun. I've never made sorghum. It was awful. It was such a fail. But of course I went on, um, you know, Pinterest and I was like, oh, oh, Patrick Flynn is on. Hi, Dr. Patrick Flynn. If you guys don't follow him, follow him. Amazing, amazing stuff he puts on there. Um, but I was like, oh, oh, the sorghum. I can totally make it, right? I can, um, you ready to try the popcorn? Yeah. I, Melody, yeah. I, I haven't made the popcorn yet because I'm still recovering from the awfulness that was the dish that I made. I would have, uh. I ate it, right? But the kids were like, mom, what is this? This is terrible, right? So anyway, so you'll see something out there and you'll jump in and you'll try and like dive in there and hi, Molly. And you'll be like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this intermittent fasting thing. I'm going to take charge of this. Great. But honestly, but if you're not doing it correctly for your body, or if you're struggling with something with hormones, with stress, you know, with 
just not being at your healthiest self, a lot of times a simple fast will, like a 24 hour fast will have you backslide. You will take huge steps backwards and it won't give you the right result at all. And people will be like, oh, oh, what is happening? What am I doing wrong? It's not right for you or you're not doing the right type of fast for you. So again, if you're wondering if this is, or if this is happening for you or if you're wondering, hey, am I doing this wrong or I wanna do this, I wanna make sure I do it right, you can schedule a call with me. Um, you're doing your first fast tomorrow. Ooh, cool, Pamela. Um, schedule a call with me. I will walk you through this and, and help you kind of navigate some of these things. But essentially, when people do a 24 hour fast, the first thought that comes to your head is, I'm going to not be eating for 24 hours. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not for the female body. The female body functions very differently than the male body in a lot of different ways, right? I've talked about protein absorption, upload, muscle building, muscle breakdown, fat storage versus fat burning, etc. I mean, even how long your body um, <clears throat> burns calories after a weightlifting session. For men, it can be up to 22 hours. For women, three hours. Three hours. Oh, yes. Molly, you're currently in a 36 hour fast. Nice. Um, so it's very, very different how the female body reacts. And if the female body, which is designed to store fat, goes into um, a fast where you're getting no nutrient in, nothing, like you're drinking water, your body will see that as a stressful state and it will kick up fat storage. It will decide to be in fat storage mode even more. Mm, what? Yeah, yeah. Not what you want typically, right? Not what you want. So how do you get around that? Snacks. Snacks. How many snacks? What type of snacks? That's usually the question I get when we talk about snacks. And why, why snacks? Snacks to keep your blood sugar going. Snacks to tease your digestive system. You want, it, you want it moving along a little bit, right? You don't want it to stop. If your digestive system stops, your metabolism also stops. So you just want to tease it. You just want it to go a little bit, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. And you do that by having a snack that is a complete nutrient. That's a protein, carb, and fat, right? Because these things get burned between one hour, two to three hours, and then up to four hours. So if you're getting a little bit here, say 100 calories of this, 50 to 100 calories of a snack, almonds, right? Almonds have protein, fat, carb in them. And you're getting, say, 100 calories of almonds, like a little, little small thing of almonds. I don't know why I made the face, but it did. A little small thing of almonds there. You're gonna want that at least every four hours. That way you're getting something in your stomach every four hours to keep your digestive system just kind of move in a little bit, but not, not a full meal, not enough where you would kick off full digestion. If you're getting a full meal in, if you're getting like, oh, you're like, oh, a salad is really light, right? I can eat salad. Uh, salad is leaves. Leaves are fiber. <laughs> Your digestive system has to work really hard to digest fibrous things to break it down. Uh, so you don't want to do that. So something that's a very, very small and mild and not fibrous. Mm hmm Yeah. So that's why I say like almonds, right? Because they're a complete nutrient and your body can break it down. Even better is do something like almond butter or peanut butter or a tablespoon of almond butter because it's already pre-broken down a little bit and you don't even have to chew it. Mix it. Your body uploads more of those nutrients. So, um, you made that mistake at the beginning, Melody. You had spinach for a snack. Yeah, right? Yeah, because you're thinking, oh, this is so healthy. Oh, there's... There's no calorie in it really. Oh, but you want it. You want that sugar a little bit. You want that carb. You want protein and fat to kind of keep your blood sugars going through that whole 24 hour fast that you're doing. Again, this is what I'm focusing on the 24 hour fast. So at least every four hours, sometimes if your metabolism is faster. So when I am in super high workout mode and I am, you know, doing doubles and I'm, you know, training like preseason for me was super high workout mode. Um, I had a hard time doing a 24 hour fast and when I would try, I would have to have snacks every two to three hours to keep my blood sugar going. Otherwise I would crash cause I was just burning through stuff too, too quick. Um, what about like celery, apple juice? Um, juices themselves when you're doing a fast, um, again, that's a lot of sugar and they're, you're going to burn through that really quick. And then that's, that's not necessarily even for your blood sugar, Molly, but that's a great question. Some people do bone broth. That's a great thing to have. Um, I'll do kombuchas, um, lots of seltzers, of course, tea, um, plain coffee, no sugars in it. Um, you know, those are just liquids that you can have. And then, but doing something, you know, 
that's that's equal part protein fat carb um, that's a big key when you're doing snacks um, so that's the snack portion of it for those 24 hours but again be conscious of your body and what it's needing so my intermittent fasting when I'm in heavy workout mode versus when I'm not is very different um, just because my my body composition is a little bit different my output is a little bit different um, even if you're juice your own yes yep yes Yep. Yes, Melody. Something every two hours. Yeah. See, that's and that's a lot of gals do really well with that. Every two hours getting something in so that you're getting enough um, sugars in to keep that blood sugar going. That's the key about getting through that day without setting off your cortisol. If you're going too long, your cortisol will rise and then it'll have the opposite effect for what you want. Because women, we deal with enough stress as it is, right? Right? <sighs> Seriously. Oh my gosh. So in case you're wondering about this mess that's happening up here when I talk about stress. So I was in a wedding this weekend. I was in a wedding. What's today? Sunday? Yesterday. Um, I haven't even posted pictures. It was such a whirlwind. I will post the pictures of the wedding. Um, the, the few pictures I took when we got to the end of it and we, so the kids came with and my husband and stuff and we went to the wedding and on the way back, we actually went camping um, just to have like some quiet family time, right? Cause it was crazy whirlwind being in a wedding and then my kids were there and stuff. So H was with the kids and doing all the kids stuff. So he's a champ for doing all of that. <laughs> and it was nuts though. On the way home, literally this morning as we were like, I was taking pictures of them swimming. I was like, I didn't even get a picture of us. I didn't even get a picture, like a family picture of us at the wedding. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Like all of us dressed nice and everything, like the one opportunity you should take a picture. I didn't because it was so busy. We were so just on the go. Anyway, so that's, I mean, I literally have like some, this is like my wedding hair that I just threw up and I was like, I don't even want to wash the stuff out of it yet. It's so bad. So I'll be doing a fast this week because I need to clean out my system from everything. Um, yes. But that's one of the things where like, again, you can have the best laid plan and then sometimes this doesn't happen, but the snacks will keep you on track. That's the biggest thing for women is that we're under enough stress as it is. We have enough stuff going on. We don't need to add to that, right? And you can add to that if you're not doing this correctly. It will backfire on you. It will have the opposite effect. So let's, let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> um, now the other thing too, when you're talking about fasting, um, is that I really focus on, um, only fasting up to 48 hours at the most. I mean, again, be successful with this. That's a, this is great. Then you can try and move on to 48 hours. And then after that, that's enough. Do not fast longer than that. Once you get past even a 72 hour mark, your body automatically starts attacking muscle tissue and it doesn't differentiate muscle tissue. This is why people who have eating disorders and anorexia, they actually have weakened heart muscle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. So to be very safe, to do it in a safe, effective manner, again, this is not for everybody out there, but if you've tried it, if you want to try it and you think it may be safe for you to do, start with a 24 hour fast. Um, and, and do these little snacks every, you know, either two to three or every four hours, you'll get through the day beautifully, drink plenty of liquids, um, and you're going to feel amazing. The other thing too here, um, uh, when you're fasting, remember that it takes eight hours to even get to that fat storage part for the first eight hours of it, you're burning through your stored glycogen. So everything that you ate, you know, so all those like car snacks that I ate today, <laughs> to stay awake while driving. Um, if I were to do fasting tomorrow for the first eight hours, my body's going to be burning through that stored glycogen, those stored sugars. After that, it gets into fat burning mode and then it will attach, uh, attack your visceral fat, which is the fat that's around your abdomen, internal organs, things like that. And usually for women, that's the top of, toughest area to lose. And, but it's, even if your metabolism is slow, even if you feel like your hormones are messed up, Physiologically, you can force your body to tap into these fat stores by doing this fasting. But again, do it with snacks. If you're not doing it with snacks, you are not doing your body any favors. You are making it a heck of a lot harder on yourself and it's uh, not necessarily gonna give you the right kind of result that you want. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk about with intermittent fasting for women specifically is that I do recommend doing this during the progesterone phase. Mm-hmm. 
So what that means is that if you're going to do fasting here, you're going to do it from days uh, 15 to 28 of your cycle. Your body is higher in uh, basal body temperature then, and you are more likely to tap into a fat burning zone. Yes, those last two weeks. Yep, during days 15 to 28, uh, because that coincides with your natural physiology to get after that fat that's stored in your body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, staying till the end. So again, I'll put that link below. If you've got questions, please let me know. Please sign up for a call. I love just chatting um, with women and love hearing that, you know, I'm trying this or I'm trying that. And I, I guarantee if you're nervous about asking a question, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Uh, I've heard it all before. <laughs> and, and no question is a dumb question because there's a lot of information out there that's really confusing um, and it can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. So I'll put that link below um, and then I will see you guys all later. Bye.